Hi everyone, welcome back to another video on the channel and today I'll be showing you how to create a Kanban board in Notion as well as how you can customize some of the features that way you can personalize the board to whatever you're using it for. The first step is to open up your Notion um, whether it's an empty page or wherever you want to put your Kanban board and the command to create a Kanban board is backslash board. So you're going to search a board and click on board view and Assuming we're going to just show how to create a Kanban board from scratch, I'm going to click on New Database down here. And as you can see, we have the general template of a Kanban board automatically created for us. Now I'm going to show you how you can customize some of its features so that we can personalize it. Specifically, how you can personalize and customize these headings up here, as well as how to customize the actual card templates. So um, a basic Kanban board is going to have the to-do, in-progress, and complete headings. But let's say I want to make it more personalized for um, creating a, for example, a content creation um, video pipeline um, Kanban board. So just for the sake of this example, I'm going to create kind of a content creation video pipeline. And instead of having to do in progress and complete, I want to have idea, developing, and published. So the Kanban board already comes with a few properties created automatically for you. So as you can see here in this property drop down, I have like the name of the card, uh, assigning it to people, as well as the status. So um, for the sake of this example, I'm not assigning any um, properties to anyone else. It's just a personal Kanban board. So I'm going to go ahead and delete this property. I'm also going to delete the status property that they've already created for us. That way you can start from scratch. So as you can see, it kind of has no status, but I'm going to add in my customized headings. So what I'm going to do is I can click on these three circles here, go to properties, click on status, which is now hidden in the board and go to options and click um, and add the three options. So I'm going to add idea, um, developing, and lastly, published. So we have our three headings here, and you might notice them that they're kind of uh, listed vertically under heading groups, and instead we want them listed horizontally so we can drag and drop the cards. To fix that, just go to layout, go to group by, status, and you want to press show all. And then I'm gonna go ahead and as you can see here, we can drag and drop these cards wherever we want to. I'm going to go ahead and get rid of this no status. That's why it's hidden in the groups. And so now as you can see here, we have our cards developed and our three headings of idea, developing, and published. Now you might be wondering how can we customize the cards or you know how do we actually access these cards? So simply clicking on the card itself will open it up. You can full screen it here. Um, and you can simply add cards by just clicking on plus new and then typing whatever you want. And you might be wondering, okay, I've maybe created a card, I've opened it. Now I can start typing things, but what if I want to, you know, customize this actual template here? You know, every time I open a new card, I don't want just an empty page. So we can create a card template really sim um, it's just fairly simple. All we need to do is click on a new card, open it up, and here you can say, yeah, here you can see it says press enter to continue or create a template. So I'm gonna create a template here. Uh, I want to name the template of this, let's say new video. And then, you know, in a new video, there might be some things I want to, you know, automatically start brainstorming and drafting out. So for example, probably the title of the video, um, the actual script, and let's just say maybe the tags. And I'm going to go ahead and kind of create some empty bullet points here because this is the template. Kind of color, give this a different background color.
So now we've got this automatic kind of template that we've created. So we go to back. And so now, let me just quickly delete this card. So now if we go to you know create a new card in the idea, let's say we want to name this how to create a Kanban board. And instead of just starting from scratch, we can pick our template that we've created. There we go. As you can see here, we already have our automatic kind of template created for us and we can start um, jotting down our ideas for the title, scripts, tags. Um, but this is again, just a simple tutorial of how you can create a Kanban board in Notion as well as how you can customize it to your personal needs. And if you enjoyed watching that video, make sure to leave a like and subscribe to the channel and comment below other videos that you'd like to see in the future. That being said, thanks again, and I'll see you in the next video.